I know it. That game made me so excited for the upcoming season. And our Chandler Mack has more on the game. Ah, thanks, ladies. That's right. After winning nine games for the first time since the 2013 season last year, Gamecock fans were excited to see their team back on the field, and they got their chance on Saturday at the Garnet and Black Spring game. Jake Bentley and Brian Edwards got things going for the Garnet team as they connected here for a touchdown. Ben Bentley was 15 for 25 on the day with two touchdown passes. 2017 South Carolina missed the football to carry on. Joined him, made his debut for the Gamecock and did not disappoint. The freshman threw for 25 yards and rushed for 21 yards in limited action. The black team won the game 34 to 20. Head coach Will Muschamp and Jake Bentley were impressed with the team's growth on offense. But I thought we dictated the tempo well. Uh, we didn't do as much look back as we will do in the fall. But uh, to be able to dictate the tempo of the game and control that offensively. Now, you got to get first downs to do it. I think we did a lot of good things. I think there's a lot of things that we got to work on. But um, I think, as you can see, the tempo causes defense problems. Notable enactors for the game include star wideout Debo Samuel, who is still recovering from a season-ending injury last season. Moving things to the diamond, the Gamecocks shine bright in a three-game series with Tennessee over the weekend. The Gamecocks started the series off with a 6-1 win against the Bulls on Thursday. They followed that win with a 6-2 win on Friday. They were led by Carlos Cortez, who had three hits and a home run on the day. The Gamecocks closed out the Bulls with a 6-3 victory on Saturday, clinching their first SEC sweep of the season. Coach Mark Kingston was very pleased with his team's effort over the weekend. The combination of our team playing with that kind of will and that crowd being into the game as much as it was to me, that's what South Carolina baseball is. When I think of South Carolina baseball at its best, that's what it is. It's, it's players playing with that kind of heart and will. The team will be back in action tomorrow night when they take on UNC in Charlotte. Moving things to the court, the awards keep on coming for Asia Wilson. Wilson was named the Naismith College, Women's College Player of the Year on Saturday. This award is given to the best women's basketball player in the nation. Wilson has also been named the USA Today, ESPNW, and AP Player of the Year for her efforts this season. Former Gamecock football coach Steve Spurrier even called Wilson the best Gamecock athlete of all time over the weekend. And keeping things related to the old ball coach, the HBC made his return to the sidelines for the spring game on Saturday, and he also made his return to the field. In an SC not top 10 play, Jacob Skarnecchia lobbed the pass to the corner of the end zone, and the old ball coach dropped it and fell flat on his back. Current head coach Will Muschamp decided not to be too hard on the old ball coach after the game. I will never get on Coach Spurrier. No, we, uh, we probably should have gotten it a little bit closer in. I didn't really see it, but uh, uh, I, I, some people ran in front of me right when the ball was thrown, but uh, I wish we had gotten that one. <laughs> the old ball coach can still fall back on his Heisman Trophy and his national championship as a player. With that, I'm sending things back to y'all. Thanks, Chandler. You know, I didn't go to the spring game, but I did see that pass on Twitter. It was very, very interesting, very funny, good stuff.